Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and today we are taking our look at everything new with the airport DLC for City Skylines. If you're excited to see this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe as well because I've got plenty more airport DLC content coming your way over the next few days. So without any further ado, let's dive in and see what's new. So when you first load up, we are going to be greeted with this new What's New screen, which now includes the airport DLC. We're not going to spend a huge amount of time on this because we're going to dive into the game to see what there is. But as you can see, a whole range of new trees from Mr. Mason. So 14 new trees that we can look forward to. A tree replacement tool. That's right. We can replace the trees on a tree road with any tree or bush that you like. We now have the ability to buy and sell soil. So no more building huge mountains or cutting them down just to get what you want. Three different styles of airports are oh, looking forward to this so much. New policies, new different sized aircraft stands and aircrafts, cargo airports air cargo oh my goodness me when you get to a certain level you can start your own airline so you can make loads of money new public transport hubs for bus metro and train connected to your airport including all sorts of new theme buses and trains and metros and all that sort of thing and new maps as well very very excited okay so let's dive in and take a look at this okay so here we are in a pre-made city ready to take a look at all the new additions if you want to see me actually building in game a brand new airport in this city be sure to subscribe because there'll be videos coming up this week doing that right so first things first you want to be going to your airport area tab and this is listing all the new items that are included in the game you can filter them using the options up here and we have the classic style the modern style and and the ultra modern style and as you can see each of these comes with four of these terminals which is looking fantastic and i'm loving the details on these models so you've got the basic one we've got the two-tiered one here that's got the built-in bus and taxiways as well because these do have a built-in taxi departure areas people can grab a taxi from them an even larger one here Look at that with the two tiers on. And then you've got this fantastic shaped terminal as well. And each of these has their own individual style. As you can see, this one is looking absolutely fantastic. Loving all the little signs and everything as well. So as you can see, lots and lots of options for building your airports as you wish to look. And the ultra modern as well, this one is looking fantastic. Now, to get this going, we need to build an airport area. So let's jump into here and we've got two new options here, paint airport area and erase airport area. So I'm just gonna put one over here, Highland Metropolitan Airport. There we go, and we can see what it says on here. So build an airport terminal where we've got all of those, build an aircraft stand, and build a runway. So this is the procedure that you'll go through to get this going. So if we go along here, we can build a runway. Uh, we need to make this area a little bit bigger. And runways now can be pretty long. They have a minimum size. There we go. But the, the, the largest size, I mean, these can be pretty huge. And let's just do a quick test. How big can these go let's just put a really long airport area all the way in these unlocked squares put anarchy on yep so it can keep going keep going it could just go it should just go for days it could go for days that is fantastic there we go and now we need to build an aircraft stand just to get this to be recognized so we're going to grab the small aircraft stand. We're going to butt that up against there. And that should now be recognized as an airport. So in here, we can now see what we need to do to level up to the next uh, level. Of course, uh, we need 500 passengers and we need an attractiveness score of 200. And we get some other interesting figures here as well. Passenger seats, how many are used, how many passengers are incoming and outgoing our income, active flights, the size and expenses. And in my testing, you will not make money on this until you get your own airline. I mean, there might be a way of doing it, but yeah, that is the way it looks to me so far. And you can't get an airline until you've got an airport up to level three. So we'll see about that. We get some policies that are now added, as you can see. Uh, so this one is going to add a bonus of attractiveness. So if we unpause the game, let that run a bit, this should then go up. Uh, we get some maintenance uh, we can do, which adds a value bonus to the whole airport. Might as well do that because we have unlimited money on this testing. And they're more likely to use cars. 
uh, which adds two dollars income so you know that's a good way of doing it and if you go onto our land value screen and add these on the hotel discounts just keep your eye on the land any minute now there we go increased land value has been added which is fantastic and our attractiveness score is now up to 322 so it's just a case of getting in passengers which of course we're not going to do just yet because these aren't all connected up so what other items do you get in the game so as you saw here we have small aircraft stands that we've added to our terminal here we also get medium aircraft stands there we go, which will allow medium vehicles or airplanes to come in and out. And then we also have large aircraft stands. Let's pop that one over there. Yep, nice and large. And these all have animations as well as airplanes are coming in and out, which is brilliant. And then, of course, one of the biggest things that I really like is the concourses. Each of your styles has a different style of concourse. So let's grab one of these now that we have... Um, our zone in we can draw these now you can draw these straight or you can use any shape you like so suddenly we have this option of look at this amazing maybe not designed like this but amazing looking airports with all different shapes and sizes let's just take a look at these other two as well There we go how about that for a fantastic concourse in a fantastic airport yeah so the creativity that you can put into into creating your airports is just going to be immense and these will connect up to each other as well there we go so we can take that one from there to there we can take this one from here to there no problem at all i do have anarchy on so let me just turn that off and we can just test that again to make sure that i am correct there we go excellent so that is really really cool i do enjoy that option there and then we've got control towers so the control towers you can mix and match those which whichever one you want there we go but they will also we can move those attach onto the concourses there we go fantastic detail so we have this one this one and we also have this one and you can place as many of those as you like and if you notice on your terminals as well as the upkeep and the cost and all that sort of thing you would uh, expect there is a noise pollution and an attractiveness value so the more of these that you put down the higher your attractiveness will be so our attractiveness for our little fake airport here is probably through the roof 382 yeah brilliant so there's one more stand that we do get which is a cargo aircraft stand which we'll come to in a moment when we look at the cargo stuff so i tell you what let me try and get this hooked up and we can get some planes coming and going into our <laughs> let's use this one here superly amazingly looking ultra modern concourse hub Okay, I've just hooked up the front. Nothing special, just to get this thing going. At the minute, it's just being used as a turnaround for all the vehicles coming down here. But as you can see, we now have access to taxiways that we can draw in, again, in any shape that we like. And I've just got them hooked up here to the small, medium, and large stands. So while we're waiting for some planes to turn up into this airport, this hawky balky airport that we've built, let's just have a quick look at the public transport options that we have. So we have the airport bus station, we have the elevated airport metro station and the airport train station. And here we go. We can take a closer look at these lots of options for adding in bus routes here. Let's see how many we can add in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven new bus routes can come in and out of here. Uh, let's just set one up. Uh, we're going to bring this one over to a hub somewhere and then we're going to see what other bus options that we get. Right here we have the first bus arriving. So we have a look at the line details on here. We now have options to select other vehicles. We have the articulated airport bus and the double decker airport bus so let's take a quick look at those and here comes the articulated airport bus 
Let's just pause and zoom into this one. This one is looking brilliant. I love that. Let's just see how that looks when it goes around the corner. Oh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Oh, that is great. So let's just take a look again at how many this can hold. So the old buses hold 30. Articulated hold 50. And then if we change this again to the double-decker airport bus, and then we can take a look at those. And here it comes. Excellent. Let's just pause it there. These will hold 60. Let's zoom into this one. There we go. Go into the city centre, it says. Fantastic. Let's see that one arrive. Oh, I am definitely liking the look of those. And of course, as always, you can change the colours on these. So let's just change our line colour. There we go. Now they're all a nasty green colour. <laughs> it's just what you want. Let's put something a bit more fiery red. There we go. Oh, London Double Decker Bus. Oof. You know what I'm going to be doing with those. And now we have our new Metro transport option added onto here, which I think is looking also very swish. Very modern. Very swish. Very modern. I'm just waiting for one of our new Metro trains to turn up. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Heading out. Airport Express Metro train. So if we go into these lines, there we go. We now get a new option. Airport Express Metro. Let's just zoom in and have a close look at these. These are looking pretty funky as well. Off you go. Oh, how many? Wow, they are pretty long, aren't they? How many do they hold? 180. And that compares to our normal metro trains that carry 150 instead of 180. So you get a little bit of a boost there too. Then finally, we have our airport train station. So similar design to the metro station. Very modern look. And we have some new trains as well. I think they're going to be heading out in this direction. There they go. Looking very, very nice. They also hold 240, the same as the normal trains as well. They'll be coming along here any moment. So while we were doing that, we've started to have some planes <laughs> coming into land. Oh my goodness, buddy, you're getting a little bit close to that one there. Okay, there we go. So they're going to try and find somewhere where they can stop. And you can see the animations now as they come in which is just great. Let's just keep an eye on this one here. So these items move back, ready for, yep, our passengers, which is fantastic. And some amazing looking planes as well, which is really, really cool. There we go, he waited for his turn. Now he's coming in for the takeoff. And he's used the whole runway as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Oh, look at this one here. I thought this was a very interesting looking plane. <laughs> Seems like it's two planes together. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look, we saw this one moved over and connected up. Oh, I didn't do that last time, did it? Oh, very good. Very good. I want to see one of these go in and out. So let's wait for another large plane to come along. Or a medium plane. Oh, yeah. And by the way, of course, while the planes have been coming and going. Oh, here we go. We're going to get a large plane coming in. We've actually managed now to hit the next level. I think we've got an auto save. Let's have a quick sip of tea. Oh, there we go. Look at that with the animations. Taking out the cargo from the doors there. Letting out the passengers. That is just delicious. I love it. Right, so now we are level two, so we can see we're still not actually making any money. Uh, we've got more passengers, more attraction of score that we need to reach to get to level three. So we did skip one section, which was decoration buildings. And two of the items that are added are budget airport and luxury airport. Quite expensive, but looking very good giving people somewhere to stay before they head off on their flight. So these also add attractiveness to your area. We also have a small hangar and a large hangar, which again add attractiveness. They can be placed individually or they can be snapped against the side if you want to do a little bit of extra decorating in your airport. There we go. We also have an airport lounge, which needs to be added to a concourse. But if we just pop that on there and take a close look, there we go. Somewhere for people to have their tea and crumpets while they're looking out the windows, enjoying the view. 
and waiting for their planes to come in. And you can, of course, add as many of these as you can afford to various places around your airport. So let's pop a few of these in here just because we're on unlimited money. Is that going to fit in there? Just about. There we go. And they come in a variety of colors as well. Three colors by the look of it. And then we have a host of other decoration options which can be placed inside um, your airport area freely or snap to a taxiway. So we have an aviation fuel station. Then we get three small parked planes, three medium parked planes, two large parked planes, and also two parked cargo planes. And there's also some handy dandy miscellaneous decoration items, including this lovely airport fence, an aviation museum, which can be placed anywhere in your city. And then when you get to the high enough level of your airport, you can place your airline headquarters building, which unlocks the ability to build your own airline. So now if we come back over to our Highland Metropolitan Airport info screen, we now have an airline tab. Clicking on this, we can rename Biff Air. There we go. Excellent. We can change our logo. That one looks pretty swish. I like that. We can change the color of our planes. I think a nice bright red would look lovely. We can adjust the ticket price. There we go. And we get some interesting information down here as well. So if you notice here the ticket price, the higher price, the more income, but also your airport will be less attractive. And I believe we need to get our airport to level three before we normally unlock this sort of stuff. So let's do that and then we can check out this. Yep, I think that should be enough ultra modern control towers to get us to the next level. In fact, they're all looking out the window at each other, aren't they? <laughs> that just brought to mind that Spider-Man meme where everyone's pointing at each other. But yeah, you get the idea and plenty of attractiveness so now it's just a case of waiting for enough passengers and also what's interesting down here we are making some income if we go back over to our airline it's actually kicked in now so we can adjust this up and down and we can see the lower it is the higher our attractive modifier will be let's just give that a second to change Oh, but while we're waiting for that, look, we can see some of our Biff Air airline planes coming in with our logo and our own color scheme. It, hopefully, we'll be able to, uh, I'm sure modders will dive in on this one, be able to put our own logos in, which would just be absolutely fantastic. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Oh, look at this bad boy coming in. Look at this guy here. Biff Air, fantastic. There we go, it took a moment or two. So our airline ticket price at its lowest gives us an attractiveness modifier, a nice bonus, which we can see added over here. And of course our income is lower. And then if we put this all the way up, there we go, we can see we're making lots of money, but our attractiveness modifier has gone down. But because of the way that we built, <laughs> we're absolutely fine. There we go, we are at level three, fantastic. So now let's take a look at the cargo options that are available for us. Here we are over on the other side of the airport. Well, actually, it's a separate airport now, but it can all be part of the same airport. Oh, look at that. And the Yorkshire tea deliveries are coming in. That is the most important thing, of course. So what options do we get here? Well, we can see them on the screen. We have the airport cargo train station, which has got access for two rails going through the middle here i've just got it attached to a main rail with some nice use of props as well hopefully we'll see some trains coming in and out of here momentarily we'll see that working we have the cargo airport terminal so i hover over this you can see the size of it and i've got that connected to some roads over here i think that is looking pretty pretty swish as well some nice models parked up outside very good very good and then we've got these two new roads as well so we've got this road down here let's jump into here and i can show you we have the medium cargo airport road which is this one and we have the large cargo cargo airport road i'll just draw that in here so you can see the difference there we go so it's almost like these are little storage area warehouses down the side here and these link up really nicely with the stands so we have over here the cargo aircraft stands and if i remember correctly that's just the one size isn't it yeah just the one size cargo 
aircraft stand and you can hook that up to its own little airport setup you can hook it up to your main one whatever works best for you we can see they're all queuing up so i obviously need some more stands along here so maybe i can just do a quick little upgrade Of course, having them hooked up like this means planes can only take off from these but can't actually come in and land at these. So I think we just need to pause the game and maybe do a little bit of a change here. There we go. Now all the airport stands, cargo airport stands can be used. And I think once the AI kicks in for the planes that have already landed, this should all be working fine and dandy. And there we go. We can see the trucks coming down here to drop off their wares. Fantastic. And if we look at some of the models on here, they are looking fantastic. Colossal EX, Colossal Cargo, all sorts of different options here. And even the plane within the plane. And it hasn't taken long before these are now fully in use as well, which is great. There we go. Look at that. Filling up with goods and planes taking them off to places far and wide, making us lots of money, which is great. So also worth mentioning that there is a built-in metro connection on quite a lot of these concourse hubs as well. There we go. You can see those there. So those are all the items in the airport DLC. What else is included in this DLC update? Well, how about a new look to your chirper? Let's go into here. We now get air traffic control chirpy and we also get pilot chirper as well. There are also two new radio stations which are part of the paid content, the On Air Radio DLC, which is 16 new songs, and the Calm the Mind Radio DLC, which is another 16 new songs, both including DJ content as well. And along with this DLC, we have three new maps, Asuna Beach, Hanami Bay, and Noyu Port. So let's take a quick look at those. So Reflect mentioned so far is part of the paid part of the DLC. Let's look at what comes with the free base game update. And one of those things is some trees. So we get 14 new trees in a content creator pack by Mr. Mason. And if you purchase these trees or bushes, we can see them all laid out here. Then that uh, cost or part of that will go to Mr. Mason themselves. So you'll be supporting a content creator. And there is also the new tree upgrade tool. You can upgrade the trees on any road or path that has trees already. Let's take maybe some of these from the new pack. And there we go. Look at that. You can upgrade those to be any bush or tree that you require. And that is working on all of the paths, all of the roads that have trees built in. So you can't add those onto a road without a tree <laughs> let's see if i can find one here we go so you can't click on that and add one for any road with a tree you can then upgrade those look at that very swish just keep in mind there is a change in scale sometimes when using trees so we we'll use that extra large one there and it is scaled down to fit beside a road but i've also found this is working quite happily with any road assets and bushes and trees and all sorts of things from the steam workshop as well excellent and at the moment of recording this, if you wish to put your road back to the tree it originally had, uh, there's no way of just upgrading it straight with the road again. Although if you have Anarchy uh, mod, then you can put that on and yeah you can turn that back into the road it originally was with the original trees on there so again free for everybody is the new landscaping tools you've got your normal soil availability you can dispose of soil so it will dispose of the whole lot and give you some money back and then if you find that you are short on soil you can purchase soil and there we go from your funds 
and we also have the service vehicle selector we can select some different uh, models here we've got the mobile command center and a police supercar for our police stations for our firehouses we have a fire truck the normal one the large fire truck and the mini fire engine uh, for our ambulances hospitals and whatnot we also have the fly car ambulance and the large ambulance and then for our trash collection our rubbish collection we have the large garbage truck and the small garbage truck i believe these are any visual changes to the game um, but these are coming from the uh, let's pick the police supercar there they are coming from the vehicle pack by bisquicklehausen i want to see a supercar oh look at that look at that i can't zoom in anymore because i've got no mods on <laughs> fantastic job so there is also, as I've mentioned, a paid content creator pack vehicles by Bisquicklehausen that is available that has 21 new vehicles for your city and they look fantastic. I'm going to put a link to that below so you can go and check that out. And there is also the paid content creator map pack by Sanctum Gamer which includes eight new maps which I will also link to below so you can go and check that out and if you purchase those content creator packs uh, you will be supporting Bisquicklehausen and Sanctum Gamer as well. So let me know in the comments below what is the favourite part of this new airport DLC and all the other upgrades and updates that are available. I'll be interested to hear. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can see me build an actual proper city, uh, a proper airport I should say, in my city of New Zealand when all the mods are updated to work with that and also in this city as well which is this is the one that we used in the Red Bull challenge there we go you might remember this we built a park over here well we're going to be using this one to build some fantastic looking airports have a fantastic day thanks for watching take care everybody bye bye